Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. Recently I've been playing around with the rotary attachments for the laser cutter and I've made some pretty cool custom engraved glasses. But glasses, that's child's play. Really, it's October and there's one question on everyone's mind. Can we laser engrave pumpkins or gourds? Now last year we laser engraved some pumpkin pies and that turned out really well. But I figured, since we have this rotary attachment, we can actually engrave pumpkins. Because the problem with pumpkins is that they have a nice curved surface. But if we were to try to just laser on top of it, well, we're not going to get really good results. We really need to be able to rotate the object in order to get a good engraving on it. But now that we have this turntable, oh, that's a perfect opportunity. So I have three techniques I want to try. First, I want to try and laser engrave a picture onto the surface of this squash. Next, I want to try and cut out a traditional jack-o'-lantern face into this pumpkin. Then finally, I want to try and cut a more elaborate pattern, something that might be too tedious to try and cut by hand. So first up is trying to engrave a picture onto the squash. I used a piece of cardboard tube to help center the squash into the rotary attachment. I can then focus the laser by adjusting how close the squash is to the laser. As for the image I'm going to engrave, I tried to pick the scariest thing I can think of, and I chose this creeper from Minecraft. So, with the image converted to grayscale, it's time to try and engrave it. I am using a 60 watt laser. You can check the description of the video for the laser model, its power, and speed settings I used for all of these. And the answer is yes. Yes, you can laser engrave a pumpkin or a gourd. Would you look at that? We have this nice creeper face engraved into this butternut squash. So it looks like we have one, one area that didn't engrave very well. And I think that's because the gourd actually shifted uh, inside of this cone here in the back. I think that I saw it fall a little bit. Uh, so it actually missed a little bit during the engraving. But yes, we can actually stick a gourd into the laser cutter and have it cut a nice uh, logo into the surface. That's really cool. Now that we know we can engrave, let's try and cut through it. I first removed all of the seeds and pulp from the inside, like you normally would do when you try to carve a pumpkin. The trick is to get a relatively thin wall so that the laser is able to cut all the way through it. The pumpkin flesh contains a lot of moisture, and the laser works by burning and vaporizing the material. So we'll have our best chance by removing a lot of the inner wall. I use the same cardboard tube to mount the pumpkin in the machine, and then it's time to cut. The first attempt was with max power and a very low speed setting. But while it looked great, it didn't cut all the way through so I bumped down the speed to about six times slower and had it run again. This time it was a success, and it gave a very spooky smoke effect when the top was removed, as the fumes from the vaporized pumpkin escaped. The laser did cut through completely this time, and the cut areas were able to be popped out. So now I wanted to try something even more ambitious. I grabbed another pumpkin and quickly made a design featuring 304 tiny diamonds circling around the pumpkin. It was mounted in the machine in the same way, and off it goes. And <laughs> the, uh, the estimate says that it'll take just over an hour to cut. Oh boy. It's kind of mesmerizing to watch it cut this repeating pattern though. I'm just hoping it doesn't slip off the mounts like the squash did, especially in an hour long cut. An hour later and we are done. The first thing to notice is the obvious line where the top and the bottom of the design met. It means I didn't quite line them up correctly in Corel Draw, so I'll have to do some experiments to align that correctly. But the rest of the design looks pretty good. Unfortunately, the laser did not cut all the way through though. Either I didn't make the walls thin enough on this pumpkin, or the laser was still moving too fast. But either way, you can see from the inside that the diamonds are still attached. 
I could take an X-Acto knife and manually finish cutting out each diamond, but I think I'll leave them inside. When you put a light inside, it gives a really neat visual effect with the light shining out from between the diamonds. So I think this answers my question. Yes, yes you can carve a pumpkin using a laser cutter. And you are able to both engrave images onto them and use them to cut all the way through, provided you are patient enough to slow down the laser. And I am sure you can get really, really cool effects by combining these two techniques of engraving and cutting. So thank you all for watching. If you have suggestions for things I should try with the rotary attachment in the laser cutter, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more awesome projects like this, subscribe if you haven't already. And finally, you can become a patron at patreon.com to support the channel. You get early access to all of my videos and a load of other perks. It's because of viewers like you that I'm able to play around with projects like this and feel like it's a productive use of my time. So thank you all for that, and as always, I will see you all next time.